All right, hello students. It's Darren Marno, and I'm going to teach you a uh, effect from Larry Jennings today. This is uh, my handling on uh, the visitor. Okay, the visitor is one of the best uh, card effects that you can do. It's very strong. Uh, you do it with a signed card. And uh, in this video, I'm not going to do it with a signed card, but I'm going to explain it. So you, you take out the the kings. Okay, you have the black kings and the red kings. And what you're going to do is you're going to uh, have the spectator cut the deck, okay? Cut the deck in half. So they cut the deck in half. Wherever they, wherever they, wherever they cut, <coughs> excuse me, wherever they cut, that's going to be their card, okay? They're going to sign it, okay? It doesn't matter if you see this. Uh, now what you're going to do, okay, is you're going to uh, pick up the cards on the left, you're going to take these guys here and you're going to do uh, a movement here uh, Vernon's type steel back, you're going to load you're going to reverse spread the kings, you're going to get a reverse break with your first finger here and you're going to load this like so so I'll move this out of the way so you can see it but the audience won't see it because it's done very casually Okay. You're going to place this one in the middle, okay? Now what happens at this point is uh, it'll look like the card that's signed is going in between the kings, and it really is, but it's actually going underneath this card here. Because what you're going to do is you're going to, uh, you can spread this up here, there's a very nice subtlety here of Darwin Ortiz and you're going to pretend to square it up and with your first finger you're going to steal those back okay so you're going to set this down on top of this half here okay now what you've got here is you've got you've got to burn one card so what you do is you use this as a pointer as you say <clears throat> there's your card you're just going to stick this underneath because what you have here is you have now the sign card and the king here. Okay, so what you do is <clears throat> you're going to uh, you're going to take this and you're going to do a false count here with these three. You're going to pick up the top cards. Okay, you do a false count. So one, two, three. Now you're going to cut this, okay? Because see, it looks like you put this three over here, but you didn't. So you're going to take the top king and the. You're going to take like a double lift off. You're going to do a false count. You're going to cover the with your thumb the pips because this is done kind of quick. As you say, look, the sandwich like it's still here. So that's a uh, Alan Ackerman two is three count. You're then going to make a double undercut with this king to the bottom. As you say, we're going to cut these in here. Okay, then you set this down. Now you're going to pick up this half, okay? You're going to move this half here. Now what you actually have here is you have, uh, you have this. You're going to turn it over. Now what you did there is you got a double, okay, by pinky counting. One, two. The sign card is on top and then there's a king uh, spades underneath it. So. They think that the card's over here, right? But actually, it's here. You're going to, as you show these cleanly, you can have them inspect them. There's nothing here. As you go to turn this over, your thumb is going to load these two underneath. It's done as you bring this over, okay? You're going to pretend to remove it invisibly, toss it over here, make a little magical gesture, reveal the, the signed card. Now, this is a subtlety from Di Vernon. What happens is when you turn this over, Okay, if you angle jog this out to the right, when you turn this over, it's going to hide the fact that you've got the king of spades the wrong color there. See, this is a beautiful subtlety from Di Vernon. So as you reveal it, you want to angle jog it or cant it off to the, to your right. Okay, now when you start to turn this over, make sure that it's not going to flash, and you just bring this in a little bit because they can see the uh, court there which will look like it's the king, but actually that's the black one there, correct? So what you're going to do, 
get a thumb break on the top king, which is the king of hearts. Okay, you're going to uh, turn this back down. Okay, you just kind of show it for a minute here. Don't show it too long. Just a casual flash that. Now you're going to push this forward. As you push push this forward, you're actually pushing the card from here. So it's done as you're like squaring this up, but they're still here. So they think everything's copacetic, right? What you're doing is you turn this over, and uh, you're going to make a vanish. So the vanish is, uh, and what you can do is your your first finger can push back these two, because there's two cards here you want to push back. So what I do is as I square here, I just kind of push this back, but I leave these out jogged. Is I want them to think this is isolated here. So when I make the vanish, you know, give it a snap, and the vanish is real clean like this. You show the front and back. You're going to get a break on uh, half with your pinky right here. Okay? You're then going to uh, take everything in your left hand like this. Your right hand's going to pick up this packet on the table, and then you're going to drop one. Okay, this is for misdirection here. Okay? You're going to drop one. As you drop two, you're going to steal this packet. Packets are going to kiss for a second. You're going to steal off this packet here. You're then going to spread. When you spread the cards on the table, okay, it's going to look like it jumped back to where it was the whole time. In this half over here, there are two kings. And then you're going to remove that out and show the signed card right in between there. So I hope you like that. Uh, that's Larry Jennings, The Visitor. That's a very strong effect. Enjoy it. Please like, subscribe, and share. And go to promagicart.com to check out the diamond level. Hi, Darren Martino here. And welcome to Pro Magic Art. And this is an uh, online master magic course. And this is for anyone, whether you're a beginner, intermediate, or an advanced magician. And what it is, is it's um, all of my original creations and uh, my system called the Cerulean System, um, over 35 years in the art of magic. Um, I have the beginner level. For $5 a month, you can get access to um, over 150 videos, plus every month there's new videos added. And that is for beginners to help you get started. That's the bronze level. Okay, five dollars a month. Then I have the platinum level. The platinum level, you could ac access to over 400 magic videos and tutorials. And this is for anyone, whether you're beginner, intermediate, or advanced magician. Okay. Then I have the gold level. The gold level is uh, ninety-seven dollars for the first year and you get access to uh, over 400 uh, magic videos and tutorials in there. Now I have the new diamond level. The Cerulean System diamond level is $27 a month and you get access to over 500 plus of magic videos and tutorials plus videos added every month in all of the, le in all of the levels there's videos added every month and tutorials so join today to become a master magician.